Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Now we are going to continue our new topic on equilibrium of a particle. Next, the objective of the lecture today, number one, to explain what is the equilibrium equation. Number two, to explain how to draw the free body diagram. Number three, to apply the equations of equilibrium to solve particle equilibrium problem in Coplana force system 2D and 3D. Therefore, at the end of the lecture, students should be able to solve the problem of a particle in the mechanic application by using the equations of equilibrium. Next, let's start with the definitions of the equilibrium equation. So, what is the equilibrium? Equilibrium means the force are balanced but not necessarily equal. Next, in physics, it means equal balance which the opposing forces or tendency neutralize each other. And then how to know the body is in equilibrium? So, a body is in equilibrium is at rest or in uniform motion which means that the velocity is in equilibrium so you may refer to the figure here okay look at this how we going to lift up this crate this container so we need the equilibrium point here to stabilize the crate here. And then next here, this, our everyday activity. How are we going to stabilize this point? And then here, how we know our structures, our gadgets, okay, is in equilibrium. Next, conditions for the equilibrium of a particle. So, how we want to know that the body or a particle is at equilibrium? So, number one, particle is at equilibrium if the particle at rest, if the particle moving at a constant velocity, and then here, the Newton's first law of motion. So, Newton's first law is stated that the summations of force is equal to zero. Where the summation force is the vector sum of the all forces acting on the particle. So you may refer to this figure. Now, how are we going to apply the equilibrium equation to solve the problem to determine the tension in this cable to support this structure? Okay, so from this idealized structure, we can transform into the free body diagram. So now we want to determine the tension in the cable AB. So um, now we need to choose which is the point of equilibrium. So for this structure, for this figure, the point of equilibrium is the point A. So this is so you need to sketch. First, we need to sketch the axis. So, here, this is the 2D Coplana forces. So, you need to sketch uh, the X and Y axis here. Okay, and th this is the Y axis. And then, we need to transform uh, the cable AB, this cable AB into the tension DB here. Okay, next, and this cable AD... So, we need to transform into this TB. Sorry, TD here. So, this is the support. This is the support for cable AB. This support for cable the AD. So, in this case, we ignore the support direction. So, we're going to study the support direction in chapter 5. Okay, now, we only consider the tension in the cable. So, here AC. So, the tension cable AC is come from this way of the structure. So, how to determine the weight? So, everyone must remember weight is equal to 
empty, then we need to substitute what is the mass of the structure and what is the G value here. So you can calculate and then we can have here is that we already know what is the tension TAC. So TAC here is the weight of this structure which is 2.452 kilo newton. So now we want to determine what is the value for the TB and TD. Then we can use the equilibrium equation here. So first we need to analyze okay for tb so tb is lies in the x and y next we need to resolve tb into x component and y component so here we have given that so here we have given that this angle is 30 degree then we can resolve TB into X. So, this is TBX. And then here you can resolve TBY. So, TBY. So, TBY is sin 30. TBX is cos 30. TB cos 30 here. Okay. Then, we can substitute into the summation FX and summation FY. Okay, summation Fx is equal to 0. So, here, summation Fx is equal to 0 is positive into x direction here. So, whatever force that opposite to this direction will become negative. So, that is why here in summation Fx, so we need to resolve all forces in that direction. So, we, we have here, so we have here Tbx. So, Tbx is Tb cos theta and then here we have td but td here is the opposite direction so this is td so td is negative so we subtract here so we have one equation here this is equation one and then next okay we need to resolve all forces in y axis so y axis positive to upward here so, whatever force come opposite to this direction become negative. So, now we want to substitute into the summation y is equal to 0. So, what force we have? So, we have here, we have TBY. So, here TBY is TB sign 30. And then, what force in y direction? We have weight here. So, weight is the negative direction. So, here we minus 2.45. Kilonewton. So we have second equation. Then we have uh, two equation here, one and two, one and two. Then we can solve to determine what is TB and what is TD. So here that is how we can apply the equations of equilibrium to solve forces uh, to to solve tension in the cable. Next, and then the condition for the equilibrium of particle. So, here we have Newton's second law of motion. So, we have here summation force is equal to Ma. Okay, when the force fulfills Newton's first law of motion. So, Newton's first law of motion is summation force is equal to zero. Then here we have Ma is equal to zero and A is equal to zero. Therefore, the particle is moving in constant velocity or at rest. So here we have the structure that this structure is in equilibrium because the body at rest. And also here we have another examples of the moving body. So next applications of equilibrium equation in our daily life activity. So you may refer to this figure. So we need to have to stabilize this structure to lift up the this one, this one is beam, this one is wall, and here at the support rig. So uh, we can apply the equilibrium equation uh, into this activity. So here uh, your you want to play the seesaw here and you want to have the stability when you have the activity canoe activity here 
okay to pedal the boat so you can we can apply the equilibrium equation now why we need the equilibrium equation because it can it can measure the force to make sure that this ring doesn't fail so we can measure we can measure this tension by using the equations of equilibrium so this is the uh, equilibrium point then we can measure the force for ac and force for a b here and also for this structure you can measure what is the force in this cable and what is the force in this cable so that is how we can apply the equations of equilibrium towards our daily activity next is free body diagram what is the free body diagram free body diagram is a sketch to show only the force acting on the selected body so for this example we have the structures here then we can transform into this free body diagram here we need to eliminate all the structure we only concentrate on the forces in the cable forces in this ring so first we need to choose what is the point of equilibrium so point of equilibrium at point a here for the example then we only consider the forces so here we assume all forces in tension so that is why we can sketch here force in tension pull out tension so here another tension in tb another tension in tc so beside we need to sketch in the directions of in the axis of x and in axis of y so we don't have to sketch all the structures like this okay so next here what is the free body diagram number one okay number one free body diagram is best representation all the unknown forces okay act on the body so a sketch showing a particle free from surrounding with all the forces acting on it another we need to consider two common connection if been attached to the structure which is if we have spring what is the forces if we have cable or pulleys what is the forces now we want to study what is the spring forces so here linear elastic spring is change in length is directly proportional to the force acting on it and then spring constant or spring stiffness is defined the elasticity of the spring and then what is the spring force so magnitude of force is f is equal to ks so spring can be elongated or compressed so you can see into this figure so if the spring is pulled it is elongated and if the spring is compressed compress here what we push we means that the spring is compressed so this become the negative f and this become the positive f so how to determine the f so f is equal to ks so what is the k and what is the s so say k is defined by this stiffness and s is here so s is the s is determined from the difference different of what okay so now l here is the deformed length and uh, l not here l not here is the undeformed length so we need to get what is this different okay so if s is positive means that our spring is pull and if s is negative it means that our spring is push so this is the characteristic for the spring now let's determine the s so this length this is the 
original length or undefined length. So for this spring, now let's say this spring is been pulled, so it have the new length or we call it as deformed length. So now this is the S. So S is the difference in between original length and deformed length. So that is why S is determined by the deformed minus original length. Now, what is the force if we are given cables and pulley? So you may refer to this figure. So here, this is the examples of pulley, the cables and pulley. So cables, okay, are assumed to have negligible weight and they cannot stretch. And then a cable only support tensions or pulling force. Tensions always act in directions of cable. Remember? And then tension force is a continuous cable must have a constant magnitude for equilibrium. For any angle theta, the cable is subjected to a constant tension throughout its length. So here, this is the examples of pulley and cable. So here we have tension cable. So this is also tension cable. So here, cable is in tension and then with a frictionless pulley weight. So we can have T1 is equal to T2. So here, if you have examples, a uh, problem like that, like this. So, uh, if we have a T here, and then we want to calculate this tension. So we can know that this is equal to this tension. 